So in the latest update for Windows 10, we've got a new feature called the power slider on laptops, that is. It's a simple slider that helps you optimize battery life versus performance. Simply slide it all the way to the left and it'll optimize battery life. If you're on battery power, then obviously try to help maximize battery life. If you're charging, maybe to charge faster, it uses less energy. And if you slide it all the way to the right, it will maximize your performance no matter what. But what effect does it actually have on both your battery life and your performance? Well, let's find out, shall we? So I ran a few synthetic benchmarks and real world application benchmarks on both CPU and GPU intensive tasks. All of these were ran on four different modes, plugged in, max performance, better performance, and better battery. Those last three all on battery power. I wanted to see what impact on performance this slider really had and how much being plugged in versus on the battery can affect performance. So let's start with Cinebench. Cinebench plugged in versus battery life has a fairly decent difference, but between all the different levels of battery life, there's not really much of a difference. And actually max performance is the worst performing out of all of these. In CPU-Z, the same kind of story. Plugged in gives you the absolute best performance, but when you're on battery life, the slider doesn't seem to really be doing all that much. In Unigen Heaven, the gap between plugged in and battery power is even closer than it's ever been. And the difference between the different battery powers is negligible, honestly. Now, in real life applications, Adobe Premiere Pro rendering, 1080p timeline, it was... <sighs> Battery power, it's all just too close to really make a conclusion here, but there is a definite difference between plugged in and on battery power. And in CSGO, again, there's not really that much of a difference. So really, in terms of performance, the sliders doesn't seem to really be doing much, if anything. The only real difference is if you're plugged in versus on battery, there's going to be a difference, mostly with CPU tasks, less than GPU tasks, but still... A difference. So if you want max performance, plug in your laptop, otherwise you'll lose some. So what is the slider really doing? Does it have an impact on battery life? Well, I had a difficult time measuring this since I don't really have any softwares to do that. But through my experience, putting it on max performance versus better battery can get about a two hour battery life difference, no matter what I'm doing. So here's what I think is happening. Any task that doesn't really need to take up that much performance, anything that can perform well without using a bunch of CPU resources, is going to limit to help conserve that energy there. Applications like Google Chrome or just background tasks. But when you run something that's more demanding, something like Premiere or a game, these demanding workloads is going to give it the performance that it needs to run as well as it can. That's the trick. So what I would recommend is if you're on battery power, put it on better battery. You'll save on battery life and you'll still get all the performance that you need from all of these demanding applications. So yeah, that's a pretty short video, but I hope you guys learned a lot. If you did, leave a like and also leave a comment telling me if you have a ex different experience with this slider. Any thoughts? Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you want to see more cool videos like this one. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.